rewind to the days done. What's up guys, Musical Mind Frame with A1 Music Productions bringing you another FL Studio 12 tutorial. Today we're doing some sound design. I'm going to show you how I made this kind of ambient synthy background sound for this, this track. And all I did was record my vocals horribly off key, then auto-tune them, and then add effects. Well, let, let's listen to it and I'll break it all down for you. So this is the sound I'm talking about. Okay, so without any effects on it, this is what it sounds like. Without the effects, it sounds like this. These are the effects I used. So I exported the auto-tuned uh, original recorded vocals and just put that uh, file directly into the playlist. So then I could just work from there. But I used New Tone. And I've done a video on New Tone. You can try and find it on the FL Studio Tutorials page on A1 Music Productions on YouTube. But I dragged the original recorded files in here. And really, usually I just tweak the knobs up at the top. The center will align the vocal more towards the note it's closest to or, or it thinks it was intended to be. And what variation does is any variation in the pitch on a note, like waviness at the end, it'll smooth that out, even to the point of just totally getting rid of it and flatlining it. And transition is how smoothly it transitions between the notes. Well, there's not much transition on this since it's already pretty auto-tuned and sharp. And you can also, I mean, further edit the vocals if you want to fix any problems that came up with your timing or if you were really off key when you did the recording, you can stretch them. And you can move the notes around. I, let me see if I can remember how to do that. You have to be very precise about where you have the cursor on the, the sample, because depending on where you put it, it's going to have a different uh, editing function. There we go. You got to put it right in the middle to it 
shows the up and down arrow. Okay, so after I edited the original recording with that, dragged that into the playlist, and then deleted the original recording that I had edited and just went off of the auto-tuned, already auto-tuned track and put that into the mixer. This is the dry original recorded file. So it does not matter <laughs> how bad you sound because you'll be able to fix it and you're going for a synthy sound anyway. So it's going to hide all of that. It's really an easy way when you have a melody in your head. You can just hum it or sing it into the mic and then take that melody that was in your head that you were able to just get close to humming and then turn that sound into something synthy and then put it straight in your song. And the the human ear tends to like vocal vocal sounds, human voice sounds stand out. In our, in our minds and in our ears, so it's going to make the synth a lot more interesting anyway because the person's hearing is going to pick up on them human characteristics. Okay, so I used a uh, optical compressor because there were some parts where it got out of control and since I'm being real synthy and stuff, I'm not going to automate the volume. I'm just going to crush it. Added some reverb to push it into the background and hide some of the flaws. And I put some uh, high-end saturation to kind of make it sharper and a little bit crisper. Put that after the reverb. Then I added a uh, clipper just to add some more saturation. It's not really doing a whole lot, but uh, I thought it helped. on the really hot, on, on the louder notes like that belt right there. And then I added a chorus plug in just to give it a little bit more flangy, wavy feel since I had evened everything out in my vocal. And that is what we got. Not very difficult. Just a little bit of leg work. And I got uh, probably about 30% of the chorus going into the dry signal. Maybe 40. I don't know. Let's hear the music again. Alright guys, hope that was helpful and sparked some creativity in your own projects. As always, subscribe to the channel A1 Music Productions on YouTube and have a nice day. Peace. One.